Disclaimer, this video is not hate speech. It is a look into foreign behavior here in the Philippines, where other human beings are being used as zoo animals for likes and views. Everybody, uh, I've got a surprise for you. I've been getting a lot of requests. Hey, Mark, why don't you make a video with you and your wife and the baby all together? Using children as the primary focus of videos comes with the hidden intention of making them stars or trying to get a million views and can raise ethical concerns. Here are some points to consider. 5. Privacy concerns. Children have a right to privacy, and sharing their videos and personal information online without their consent can be problematic. As they grow older, they may not appreciate having their childhood documented and shared publicly without their say. 4. Exploitation. Exploiting children for fame or financial gain can be harmful. It can put undue pressure on the child, blur boundaries between their public and private lives, and potentially affect their self-esteem and sense of identity. 3. Impact on the child's development. Being in the spotlight at a young age can have both positive and negative effects on a child's development. It's important to consider the potential impact on their social, emotional, and psychological well-being. 2. Consent Children may not fully understand the implications of having a public presence on social media. It's important for parents to consider whether their child is old enough to provide informed consent to being featured on their social media platforms. 1. Online safety. Sharing a child's videos and personal information online can make them vulnerable to privacy breaches, cyberbullying, and even exploitation by malicious individuals. While sharing moments of a child's life on social media can be a way for parents to connect with family and friends and document memories, it's essential to do so responsibly. Parents should consider the long-term implications of making their child a social media star and prioritize their well-being above potential fame or popularity. Communication, respect for the child's autonomy, and safeguarding their privacy are key considerations in navigating this complex issue. Rogan is now a social study and lab rat for other foreigners, who are demanding to see more of him. Mark may be trying to groom his Filipino offspring. Grooming is when someone builds a relationship, trust and emotional connection with a child or a young person so they can manipulate, exploit and abuse them. Mark has a long history of manipulation and mental instability, having tried to take his own life in the past. The child already will have a hard time, as a white kid whose father is older than his grandparents. He will be the son of the imbecile who had dreams of sailing away in a million dollar cruise ship. The son of the guy who tried to kill himself. Oh, Rogan. He's said to be the school's unofficial philanthropist, you know, the one who generously donates all of Mark's hard-earned YouTube revenue to the local bully charity and invests in the highly volatile market of playground friendships. Everyone will know who Rogan is in school. He will be bullied. It is Mark's fault and it is inevitable. It's like Mark is running a GoFundMe campaign for Rogan's social life. This is not hate speech, this is life in the Philippines.